Good morning, church school people. This is Miss Valerie with Miss Joanne. And, I, and welcome to maybe some new people who've joined us this week. Welcome and nice to say hello to all of you that we would remember, but we hope there's some new people who will eventually meet when we can get together somewhere and actually physically be there. So perhaps Miss Joanne will start us with a prayer today. Let's bow our heads, hold our hands, and open your hearts. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together on Sundays. Thank you for all the wonderful Bible stories we have learned. Thank you, God, that we may follow in your way and use the ideas that we've learned to live in God's way. Amen. Amen. This week, we have another interesting story in our Moses series as he and his fellow Israelites journey to the promised land, which was promised to them by God. And as we've already learned from these stories, the journey was certainly long and difficult. And Moses needed God's advice as to how he could lead these people successfully and keep them happy and, and deter, you know, I mean, I'm sure a lot of them just wanted to say, I think we, we should turn around and go back. Where they? <laughs> because, you know, they had, they really were, it was an amazing journey because nobody really knew where they were going to be or where this journey was going to end. And so uh, I think you, Miss Joanna, have had some you know, journeys a little bit like that. <laughs> Well, when we think about one person leading a lot of people that are, I thought one thing you might all remember, boys and girls and older people too, going on a field trip with a class and everyone's so exciting and they're so happy and they know they're going to get on, they have a partner and they get on the bus and they're going to go to the zoo or the fire house or somewhere. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. You get so excited and you get on the bus and you don't have the partner that you thought you were going to have. So you say, okay, I can get along with that. Then you get on the bus and the partner takes the seat by the window. <clears throat> Things are not looking good. But you thought, okay, we'll go on to the, to the zoo and see all those wonderful animals. And we're so happy about it. And then it starts to rain. <clears throat> Excuse me. And bus driver gets lost and it's all rain on the windshields then they get caught in traffic traffic you think are we ever going to get to the zoo well the teacher says i think i'll cheer these boys and girls up we'll sing the boat the wheels on the bus go round and round and i hate that song <laughs> so it, it didn't turn out to be the happiest experience but the teacher still has to lead you just like moses had all these people that were grumbling and fighting and nothing was happening right. And Moses <laughs> still had to lead on. So that's a very difficult task. But Moses knew that God would be, would be him. Would, would be him. And so let's listen and see what finds out. You'll be surprised. One other thing, uh, too, is that the people were, had lived, uh, you know, in Egypt with the mean king and they were used to everybody telling them what to do and suddenly you know they were on this journey and nobody was really telling them what to do um where they were going really they didn't know <laughs> and they you know they were learning how to make good choices as well so it was I think Moses was admirable I mean definitely had a lot of patience with these people so let them um, we want to of our Moses stories today, and this is Moses Thinks About God. It was the middle of the afternoon, and Moses was sitting outside the tent. He wanted to be away from the people for a while so that he could be alone with God. Moses found a rock that felt comfortable to sit on. He curled up on that rock and thought about God. I wonder what God looks like. I want to see God, Moses said to himself. Moses looked around. He could hear the quiet babbling of the sounds of a river. And standing in the river were two women, helping each other wash 
clothes. Moses looked the other direction and heard a colorful bird chirping at the, in the tree. And under the tree, a man and his son were helping each other gather branches and twigs for a fire. Everything seemed very nice. Mm -hmm. Then Moses looked into the distance. Some sheep were still nibbling grass while other sheep were dozing. And nearby, two young people were helping each other care for their sheep. Moses thought about everything that he had seen and heard. And then Moses thought about all his friends and who loved and cared for each other. Deep within and all around, Moses knew and felt God's love and goodness. Moses knew that even though he couldn't see God, God was here. And Moses could feel God's love when he was sitting by the creek, sitting on a rock outside his tent, experiencing the sights and the sounds around him, all feeling love from his friends. And now Moses began to understand. God is not a human being like us. God isn't a man or a woman. And he isn't old or young. God is different from anything we know. I can feel God all around me, said Moses. And it is such a wonderful, wonderful feeling. A wonderful story. Because yeah. it's so true that we all want to say, what did, what did God look like? What did Jesus look like? Uh, was he tall? Was he, what, 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 what was his hair? And yet, it's like love. What, what is love? Can you see it? Can you touch it? Can you know what it is? You know what it is by a feeling. So mm -hmm. the craft today is going to be one that we can't draw a picture of it, but we can make a heart, and that makes us think of it. But that's not the only love. There are loves for pets, loves for parents, loves for others. So today to remind you that even though you may be conflicted like Moses was, I, I need to see this, I need to feel it, I need to touch it, we can make our own little reminder of a heart that beats. You can see inside it has a spring, like you made with a snake. And you can just say, I feel God when, I feel God's love when I share, when I smile, when I play, when I sing. That's, I don't know what you can see. Today, God's yeah. love when I, yes, there you go, yes. Or you can make this one if you don't want to make the squiggly part inside. Again, it's something you can hang up to remind you. And it has little hearts off the bottom and it says i feel god's love when i help when i share when i love all the things that you do like when you help a sick sick person or you help someone cross the street or you help your mom or your brother or your sister mm -hmm. so these are good reminders if you hang these up you'll they'll remind you that god is there god is everywhere but you don't see a god looking back at you it's a feeling and if you put your little squiggly things in the middle, yeah, the little concertina thing, yeah, cute, yeah, really nice. And like the, babe, the, the papers that you got in your box, if you did, or it's just construction paper, white paper, red paper, and just braided like we did last week. Right, it's good to practice braiding because you can use it lots yeah. of little places. Everybody's so good at that. So when you get worried about something well where is god I, I want god to help me god is a feeling, the feeling. And, we, and when we share it with others when we hug and when we play with others or help our moms or help your dog even that's god's love so we hope you have a happy week yeah i was just thinking that you could like if you made the heart and then you kept, you know, whereas you did something that made you think of God's love, you mm -hmm. could add, you know. Add anything to it. And something that you did every day. And that. Yes. Your sense of, of 
knowing what, you know, because I think we all need to uh, have that good, good feeling that comes when you do the right thing that pleases right. God. And I do think that that is a, a way of us, uh, it's good and healthy for us to feel that. And I think it would be nice to, you know, see that we all yeah. the time. The more yeah. loving we are, you know, it, it increases. So I think that, that was a great idea, yes. So, um, we so we have some more angels today. And uh, the one as I think this word, I hope uh, it's called the angel of presence. Yeah. Um, and that's a sort of a feeling uh, that that Moses had, that idea that he felt the presence of God. You don't see what it is, but you feel yeah. something. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's not something that you visualize in, in reality, but it's a feeling and it's the presence of something. So it would be the presence of God's love around us. And I think that angel sometimes has a difficult job because everybody wants to see something, you know, not just a feeling. And then I think we just have to have this always uh, faith in God and trust in God. That That's always uh, good to remind ourselves that we, you know, God doesn't expect us to, to be perfect and he's there to, to help us make the right choices. But we, we need his advice because we are not, Exactly. We have made some strange choices, I think, along the way, but if we incorporate what God would like for us, because I think he knows us better than anybody, actually. And so, you know, following his advice, or, you know, this idea of love, it's very important. And so um, I would like to end with a little prayer today. <laughs> Thank you, God, for blessing us with your love. Help me feel and share your love so that it will grow and blossom everywhere. Amen. Amen. Hope everyone has a wonderful week. Absolutely. Enjoy and be loving. And uh, even when some days it's a challenge, but we have to remember. <laughs> God is there to help us. The makes the world go round or something. <laughs> Goodbye. Take care. <laughs>